Hello, good people. Welcome to episode three of Preparation Parley. Questions that were that are supposed to be taken up in today's episode. Let's get to them straight away. First question: How do we analyze RCs after solving it? This question can only come from the person who has not seen how to analyze one videos that I have already put up on the channel. See, the problem with RCs is usually that. Uh, if you read something and you misinterpret it you are going to misinterpret it over and over again even when you read it for the subsequent times it is at that time that you need input of other people so ideally whenever you are analyzing the varc section in general not just the rcs the varc section entirely you should do it with two or three friends of yours need not necessarily be the smartest people in the world but people who are genuinely looking to improve in rc one person reads the first paragraph gives their own insight the second person reads the second paragraph gives their own insight if at all while providing their insight if they end up saying something that is wrong or something that is over and above what is mentioned in the passage the other people discuss it mention it and when you unanimously agree upon what is the meaning that is mentioned in the passage you move on to the questions when you move on to the questions nobody ever justifies what answer you are selecting you are always supposed to let's say four people are there and first person is saying a second person is saying b third person is saying c fourth person is saying d so the first person is now supposed to give reasons why b c d are correct the second person is supposed to give reasons why a c d are incorrect the third person is supposed to give reasons why a b d are incorrect the last person is supposed to give reasons why a b c are incorrect this is how you will become accustomed to eliminating options and there on you will also realize for a lot of people the reason why you eliminate an option is also the reason why your selected option will get eliminated but because in your head you have made up that reason okay no no this will be the answer basically everyone says this statement let's reach our answer by elimination but usually what people tend to do is they reach their answer by selection and then eliminate the rest of the options which is not a good take to have because that is not what the question expects you to engage in okay how and with that i also have to give in some little bit of external context right now a lot of people have started taking mocks and a very popular opinion a very popular thought that everyone has and that this stems from my own set of people who are enrolled with me uh x y z solutions are very bad whenever this they randomly come up with answers that don't make any sense they've given this reason and that is uh, the reason is a is wrong because a is wrong so let's move on and yes that can be true for two questions three questions out of 24 that are present in the section but the remaining 20 21 questions were fine if the remaining 20 21 questions were fine and you did not get 18 19 correct there you have no right to criticize them for the remaining three questions apni angrezi itni barbaad hai ki apne majority questions mein barbaad khel rahe hai lekin unke teen sawal galat ho gaye to it gives me the absolute right to say ki yaar ye garbad hai wo garbad hai yes there are questions within rcs that i have problems with that in, in even within the analysis classes that we hold there are times that certain english answers varc answers i don't agree with i find my challenge okay this is what is happening there are times when i am alone in arguing against an option and everybody else is convinced and there are times when everybody agrees that the answer given is problematic at the same time when you take all those questions out so let's say there were five questions that were problematic you take those five out in the remaining 19 what was your accuracy if your accuracy was lower than 60% in the remaining 19 as well then you are at no liberty to say that the answers are wrong it is your own skill level that is challenged additionally uh, whenever it comes to rcs the fun thing that i've seen is or uh, not just rcs even within dilr rcs and dilr we are slaves to instant gratification we love doing quant over and over again because for a quant question after 5 minutes you either know the answer or you've looked up the solution or whatever 5 minutes the result is there for an rc passage for a dilr question set it will usually take you 15 to 16 minutes and, and i'm going with the average not necessarily not every question takes that long but uh, the average time taken for an rc passage or a dilr set is 15 to 16 minutes and 
because it takes that much time people don't tend to practice it a lot basically remember in the first video i had said you need to have attempted at least 100 rcs before you you start taking mocks before you start taking tests sectional tests but uh, a lot of people would have skipped over that advice and directly jumped to mocks i have certain people who joined right at the end of june and now they are saying sir mere mocks mein scores nahi badh rahe nahi and not end of june people who joined at the end of may kyunki 31st may ke baad to enrollment phase nahi hai but uh, end of may or abhi they have complaints of sir mere scores nahi badh rahe and my the follow up question is always have you done the minimum work not really then don't expect the outcome to be in line with your expectation when you have not put in the required work it's as good as i have never worked on my fitness i do i don't run for long periods of time over long stretches but when i play in the football match my problem is that i get tired very quickly and people are able to dribble past me very quickly of course they'll be able to do so your fitness is not up to scratch okay that is the first question how do we analyze please watch that video i've gone into great detail as to what to do with the var section i'll again link the playlist uh, in the description today how to analyze rc the entire varc section what to do with everything and especially for the varc section you would need input of people outside of you who can give you a third person's perspective a lot of times you when you are analyzing your own work you will see no na humne to sahi kiya tha samne wale ne galat diya hai completely missing out on something extremely critical in the passage because you thought that was unnecessary while analyzing you think it is unnecessary when somebody else tries to give you when somebody else points it out oh then you'll realize this is the error that i made this is the part that i had skipped over so please make sure varc analysis happens with a bunch of two three other friends of yours and that group of course is difficult to make it is difficult to find three four people who are willing to invest time along with you also it is going to be a very very long process at least for one varc section if you do it appropriately it will take you some 5 to 6 hours it should take you 5 to 6 hours but those 5 to 6 hours invested are much better than you going on to some other test or you not doing analysis at all next question in this uh, uh, that is to be taken up today the difficulty i face while solving sets in mock tests is that i am unable to manage my time i spend too much time on a set and i take take a lot of time in short listing the sets how can i manage my 40 minutes efficiently again we have not uh, looked at the video that i have talked of how to do the analysis for the dilr section because although the video is titled how to do analysis for the dilr section the initial part of the video talks of what is my usual attempt Uh, approach to the dilr section how much time to invest or what are the time limits that you should invest to a set before deciding whether i will do it or not do it additionally what you are effectively saying is you are unable to judge how much effort would be required for a set which would stem from you not having done a lot of questions beforehand if you have not done at least 100 sets ideally by the time cat rolls around you should have done 350 400 sets but uh, right now when you are taking these tests people are too obsessed with mock tests for some reason people are too obsessed with mock tests mock tests are awesome test taking is an extremely important step in your preparation cycle but that does not translate into by no stretch of imagination does that translate into you should be obsessing over mock tests without building up your on your fundamental skills so when you are doing dilr sets and uh, let's say during the course of the test you don't know after the test you look at some new recording style you record it you move on blah and blah the objective of mock test is for you to identify what sort of errors you can make are there any questions stems that were unfamiliar to you earlier let's get familiar with them learn with regards to managing your 40 minutes efficiently basically i'm although it is not stated within the question i am fairly certain you walk into the exam set with x number of sets to be attempted so that is something that you have to get rid of additionally first thing you do is see every set every set when you read it for the first 2 3 5 minutes you would place it into a box okay this is what the set expects me to do then estimate how much time you would need to in order to execute the entire work for that set if it is within 10 to 12 minutes the decision making is different if it is under 8 minutes 
the decision making is different if it is more than 12 minutes or you don't understand the set at all the decision making is different so that, but that decision making is built on the back of you having solved a lot of sets you cannot possibly randomly have some input from me and from tomorrow you'll start uh, judging the sets appropriately your judgment about sets is a function of how much practice you've done how many different recording sites you've grown accustomed to once you do a lot of work the subsequent work will become easier so when you say you take a lot of time in shortlisting the sets what what i understand out of that is instead of short well, your shortlisting of sets is if i have a half solved it then this is a set, set that i'm shortlisting if i have not solved half of it or i read through every line in great detail understanding every bit of information not really worth it no not really worth it initial no, a glancing read understand what topic what uh, input is required what sort of work is required if you feel you can do it within the timelines that you have set for yourself great go ahead i will attempt it if you feel it will take you more time move on to the next set you're not expected to solve all 20 questions within the dilr section you're expected to solve as many questions as you can so even if you end up attempting let's say eight questions two four question uh, sets that is good enough if that is the best you could do if you end up solving one six question set but you don't have time for any more sets or anything else that is not efficient then again let's say initial few minutes you read something you don't understand some something else you don't understand something else you don't understand four sets you don't understand there are also situations where people end up with not being able to attempt a single set wonderful if you are unable to attempt a single set that basically means you have the greatest opportunity of learning about all sets within this test additionally what uh, what this also means is you are not really solving sets you are solving the set in the most perfect and efficient manner possible please don't uh, strive for the stars when you are unable to walk for 2 kilometers without losing your breath right now those levels and those uh, what do i say skills would come to you after you have put in a lot of work abhi ke abhi seedha mock test dena chalu karenge without putting in the work aur uske baad hum bolenge ki bhai ho nahi raha hai to kuch khatarnak sa mere ko bata do nothing of that sort exists if something of that sort exists institutes coaching institutes would not run all year long you would not have people who have solved a lot of sets ending up scoring very well see cat ka market or cat ka student pool we i have matlab hamare bachpan mein there was a term that i had learned called gyan papi we know what we have to do we know how we should do it yet we choose not to do it and then complain it is very difficult it is as good as if i want a six pack uh, i don't but in case i wanted a six pack and i continue to eat fatty foods i don't do exercise and then after 3 days of working out i say oh i'm not getting abs this is so difficult what am i doing wrong somebody please tell me what to do it is as good as that when somebody ends up saying uh, catch ki preparation mein bahut dikkat aa rahi hai and everything bhai tumhe pata hai kya karna hai tumhe shanti se mun- sar niche karke bahut sare sawal karte hain sawal karo unless you are doing bahut sare sawal you should not as in it is very draconian but you should not have the right to complain until you solve the 100 dilr sets yourself and i don't mean 100 dilr set dekhna kyunki fun thing there are certain people that i talk to अपने कोर्स में ही बाहर के भी वो लोग सर कितने सेट्स कर लिए सर हमने 250 सेट्स कर लिए अच्छा 250 सेट्स तुमने कर लिए नहीं उसमें से हुए तो मेरे से 50 टू 60 थे बाकी के मैंने सॉल्यूशन देख लिए मतलब तुम क्या ये बोर्ड एग्जाम समझ रहे हो क्या सॉल्यूशन देख लोगे तो हो गया यू हैव टू स्पेंड टाइम ऑन सेट्स अनलेस यू स्ट्रगल विद द सेट्स यू आर नेवर गोइंग टू इनिशिएट द सॉल्यूशन यू विल अप्रिशिएट इट ओ क्या किया ऐसे ही तो होना चाहिए व्हाट स्मार्ट पीपल हाउ हाउ वेल द अदर पर्सन इज रिकॉर्डेड but you are never going to solve those sets for yourself and it is absolutely useless for you to view other people solving set effort khud marni padegi it is as good as if i watch a lot of workout videos i am not getting fit if i solve those if i do all those exercises along with the workout video theek hai chalega the slight difference here is you don't solve the sets along with watching the video solution you solve it yourself first once you've given up once enough time has passed only then do you go on to watching the solution the third question i am unable to understand the qa questions in mock even during analysis should i practice more number of questions to develop a level of understanding or should i revisit each chapter read notes and then attempt mock questions again 
if you are unable to understand the QA questions in mock, even during analysis, two things I can potentially point to would be the reason one, your theory part is not done at all. Your theory part is basically uh, scam wherein you have studied theory part, but all stupid things have been taught to you. Nothing insightful, nothing that would enable you to solve questions appropriately has been taught to you. Ya bo dikkate. Ya nahi to apna talent bhi ho sakta hai ki bhai hame to sikhaya gaya tha but apne light le rahe the. We did not really pay attention to all those insights. We have not made appropriate notes. So when you say you are unable to understand the QA questions in mock even during analysis, if you if you think you've done all the theory part and yet the solutions are not present and yet you are unable to solve those questions, it could be lack of practice or lack of concept. If it is lack of concept, go back to the notes, go back to whatever resources you are referring to. Please warning denge. Do not think YouTube videos, YouTube videos, especially the at least the YouTube videos that I have seen or the ones that are popular in the market. YouTube videos say cat ke quant ke tayari nahi ho rahi. Cat ke quant ka sabse ghatiya, sabse raddi portion jo hai, wo YouTube pe quant ke naam pe chal raha hai. There is barely any useful cat based insight. And when I say cat based insight, I'm not saying tough questions or tough things. I'm saying simple things, extremely, extremely simple things. But uh, jo cheeze, matlab, let's say ek hi pyara sa question. I don't know. I had all I had determined that we will not preparation parallel. But today we will write something. Let's say if we uh, well, have a question. Uh, somebody goes to an airport. Somebody goes to an airport. Or there is a fixed charge and there is a variable charge per kg that you have to pay for the luggage that you are carrying. So if you carry 15 kg of luggage, you would have to pay 200 rupees. If you carry 25 kg of luggage, you would have to pay uh, 300 rupees. If you are carrying 45 kg of luggage, how much money would you have to pay? Asa question. Bahut, bahut straightforward question. Ab isko solve karne ke liye log equation banane lag jate. So fixed plus 15 V is equal to 200. And then Fixed plus 25V is equal to 300. So, now we will take F or V ki value. Uske baad, hum F plus 45V. Now, how do we solve this equation wise? And that is fine. But, what has changed is only variable. So, if you have a fixed value, what has changed is only variable. So, 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 what has changed is only variable. 10 kg weight बढ़ने से आपका bill बढ़ गया है 100 रुपए, 20 kg weight बढ़ने से आपका bill बढ़ जाएगा 200 रुपए, and the answer here should be 500. You do, the question never really asked you for what is the fixed charge, what is the variable charge, but people end up making a lot of equations and what I mean by insightful, applicable things for quant, I mean this question को पढ़ा so, here the total of the fixed part, the variable part, I think this is uh, under something called variation. Topic variation. We don't say variation, hi bolte, but okay. So, when people are doing these sorts of things, I feel, bhai, kaam ki baate sikhna, kaam ki baate. And worst comes to us, let's say you don't get the access to these insightful things by wherever you're studying or whatever you're doing. You don't have to make it you're not expected to solve every question in the most efficient manner, but out of 24 questions, I'm certain everyone who has put in appropriate effort would be able to solve around six to seven questions in a smart way that enables them to do the work in very little amount of time. Please, when you say stuff like, I don't understand the solution, if the concept is missing, then go and read it. If there is no practice missing, you don't have the triggers identified. If you say this, then it will be. Stuff like, if you say in a circle, a parallelogram inscribed. You should instantly know that parallelogram has to be a rectangle. That parallelogram has to, has to be a rectangle. Or let's say we have been told there is a rhombus. There is a rhombus in which the smaller diagonal is, uh, smaller diagonal is equal to one-fourth the uh, perimeter. Basically, this is a 60, 120 rhombus. Because when you chip equilateral triangle, you will chip the rhombus. These are insights that you have to carry forward. These are insights that you should know. These enable you to solve quickly. 
your question the person who's asked this question you say you are unable to understand qa questions in mock even during analysis this basically tells me there is a huge chunk of either practice or concept missing if concept is missing go back do the theory portion if practice is missing go back do the more number of questions you i cannot really give a definitive answer should you be practicing more or should you be revisiting each chapter it depends on your own judgment of whether you know the skills or whether you are simply wading into water hoping that you know how to swim instead of actually having practiced that skill before and uh all of that aside the uh, at the end i'd like to make an appeal people this preparation parley the idea here was please send questions that are going to be generically important everybody benefits out of them please don't tell your entire life story so when people send over questions like how to do lrdi preparation in 5 months or uh, how to improve profile from now to cat bhai ek इसका हम जेनेरिक हाउ टू इम्प्रूव प्रोफाइल फॉर कैट का तो जेनेरिक आंसर भी नहीं दे सकते इनफैक्ट अबाउट प्रोफाइल फालतू का समय मत बर्बाद करो प्रोफाइल में अभी अभी कैट की तैयारी कर लो इमीडिएट टास्क अपने सामने जो है उसकी चिंता करो प्रोफाइल जो बनना था बन चुका है You are not going to substantially change your profile right now. Secondly, profile is something that comes much much later. पहले cat आएगा अगर cat में बर्बाद खेल लिया then profile wouldn't really matter. The other thing, how to prepare for LRDI in five months? Uh, the way you prepare for LRDI in twelve months, the way you prepare for LRDI in two years. There are steps in the process. Within five within five months, you would have to do steps faster. Within a longer period of time, you would have to do. You have the liberty of doing those steps slower, but the steps remain the same. ऐसा नहीं होने वाला कि भाई five months है तो इसके कोई एक short तरीका exist करेगा. And that is also probably the reason why I don't have. crash courses crash courses oh uh, are nothing but uh, a money grab from unsuspecting uh, desperate candidates who feel ki aakhri ke 2 mahine 3 mahine ke andar pad ke achanak meri duniya badal jayegi institutes will make money off you and you will happily give them money that is wonderful but theek uh, hai dekh lena crash courses i feel are the worst thing in the world but again if if you feel you like crash courses then go ahead uh, that is a discussion for another day for today bas itna dhyan rakhna please send over questions that are generic preparation based these questions that you are asking have very simple straight forward answers practice more and there are resources available on my channel itself jahan par ye sab ka jawab aa jayega acha one more last thing yaar for some reason i i want to help people who are self preparing because back in the day when i was preparing i self prepared and i would have loved if somebody helped me but uh, that does not mean ki bhai i am at your beck and call when people send over telegram pe mere ko messages ki mere ko ye bhej do mere ko ye bhej do mere ko ye bhej do bhai akal lagao kya kab kya bakwas kar rahe ho whatever i can potentially fit into my schedule along with whatever other responsibilities i have taken i am doing that and please messages akal mandi mein bhejo ye faltu ki cheeze nahi please send over this please send over this i am not your personal assistant matlab alag hi fun kaam chal raha hai it's not that it bothers me a lot it is more if you have those expectation ki ek aadmi ko aap message bhejoge aur wo aapko aake aapki jaan laga dega aapke piche bhai थोड़े बड़े हो जाओ लाइफ में नहीं हम लगाने वाले तुम्हारे पीछे जान आई हैव रिस्पांसिबिलिटी टुवर्ड सर्टेन पीपल आई वुड लव टू हेल्प एवरीवन इन दिस वर्ल्ड इफ इट टुक केयर ऑफ इफ माय लाइफ वाज सॉर्टेड आई वुड लव टू टेक केयर ऑफ एवरीवन वेरी वेरी वेल व्हिच इज व्हाट द होपफुली दिस वेंचर टर्न्स इनटू बट अभी डोंट डिमांड थिंग्स डोंट डिमांड थिंग्स और आस्क क्वेश्चंस व्हेन देयर इज अ मैकेनिज्म सेट अप वेयर इन यू कैन आस्क दोस थिंग्स एंड यू कैन गेट ऑल द हेल्प दैट यू कैन पुट ऑल द हेल्प दैट आई कैन पोटेंशियली प्रोवाइड यू विद that will be all for today as to akhri mein ranking ho gaya but theek hai have fun okay people bye bye